We were kind of expecting this, but lo and behold, the Ace Family Boxing match has been postponed. But the fight, Austin versus Gibb, may potentially have to be postponed. I mean, are we surprised? Honestly, not really. This whole boxing event just seemed so last minute to begin with because they announced it only seven weeks before the event was going to happen. With the announcement pretty much only being an Instagram post that read, it's finally official. Lil Gibby better appreciate this opportunity, especially after barely beating his last opponent. Mine as well. Count this as charity work. It's not charity work because let's be real. If you could fight someone more relevant than Gibb, you would be fighting him. July 30th in LA at the Crypto Arena. I'm back and I'm going to make a statement and put a beating on this baby boy. KSI, I'll see you in the ring next at the end of the year if you beat your next opponent. This is just so weird because sure, while KSI and I guess the Ace family have similar subscriber counts on YouTube, they're not in the same entertainment league. But that was the Instagram post announcement, but the YouTube announcement, that one was kind of buried in another video. It was posted in the video titled New Puppy Surprise. First in the video, they advertised the Ace Fest, which yours truly went to, but after that, they then announced the boxing match after advertising another event. And if you don't have a chance to make it to Ace Fest this year, there's another event only a month after July 30th at Staples Center, well, it's now known as Crypto Arena. This is probably one of the most underwhelming boxing event announcements ever. So this time around, it's a boxing event. Yes, I am fighting again. I'm obviously not the only one fighting that night. I'm sharing the arena with eight other celebrity influencers. So when we say you got to get your tickets or else it's going to be sold out, it will be sold out. Meanwhile, weeks later, when I went to the Ace Fest, I heard this while I was at the ticketing booth. <laughs> So no matter how many times this family claims they sell out events instantly, clearly it was not sold out because they were selling them at a discount there. For those who don't know, I am fighting a Nissan Gibb. He is a UK social star. Unfortunately, um, I love all my UK supporters, but I know that night they're going to be upset with me because of what <laughs> is going to happen. Yeah, because you postponed the event. But did they know this was going to happen? For all of our OG followers, if you're watching and you're listening to this right now, okay, be prepared for some just drama, some unwanted just weird vibe weird energy coming towards the ace family name in the next month or so it happens like waves it kind of comes and goes depending on how much we're doing if we're out there and we're doing events there's just more thrown at us just be prepared that that's coming so essentially they were bracing their audience for the criticism they were going to get for throwing two half-assed events then i mean after this whole announcement we were just hit by letdown after letdown when it came to who was actually going to be boxing in this event because they announced originally there was going to be eight massive social media stars that were going to be boxing in this event but on the website they only had six and we'll get to what happened to the last matchup later on in this video but the massive social media influencers that were advertised to box in this event were Austin McBroom versus Gibb. And what's ironic about this is Gibb's fight announcement that he was going to be fighting Austin McBroom got more views than what Austin's announcement on his YouTube channel got, which really, really shouldn't happen. And it shows like how little effort Austin is putting into promoting his event. If you're going to take the insane risk of hosting Social Gloves 2 after the first one flopped massively financially, you have to go all in on promotion. But the next match listed was between Landon McBroom versus Adam Sala. Landon McBroom is Austin Austin's brother and I can really not see him selling too many tickets for this event. Adam Sala, I haven't heard of anything coming out of him in the last four years. He was kind of relevant when FouseyTube was daily vlogging. But one quick check and it seems like he's now posting tutorials on how kids can steal candy from 7-Eleven. What the heck? Bro, this dude is not... Jamal. Jamal, this dude is getting... What is this character arc? But he was announced to be boxing here and I can't really see either of them selling too many tickets. So I guess this was just a filler match. And then finally you have Blueface who is probably the most relevant person boxing in this event. And he's boxing Swaggy P who is an ex Lakers player. I don't know if Blueface and Swaggy P have any sort of beef to like hype up this fight at all. I feel like this whole event is just kind of rushed and half-assed put together with no real entertainment value. There's nothing within me that really wants to see the event. If it actually happens, Happens, I'll probably watch it, but that's purely because it's my job to pay attention to what's going on in this influencer sphere. Because this is nothing like the Logan Paul versus KSI fights, because the amount of hype that was put into those fights were insane. Both of these guys were, number one, they actually hated each other. Number two, both of them were dropping diss tracks on each other, making entertaining content going at each other to promote the fight while they were training and boxing for the event. That's what made the event so great. People really wanted to see those boxing matches, and we don't have anything like that here with the social 
Gloves 2 event. We had a little bit of it between Austin McBroom and Bryce Hall in the first event, but there's nothing here. Nobody announced in this event is putting in any effort to make any entertaining content promoting this fight. They're probably putting in a bunch of effort into boxing training, but these guys aren't boxers. People watch them because they're entertainers. If they're not being entertaining and promoting the fight in an entertaining way, no one's going to watch the event, which is why I feel like inevitably this happened. I just woke up to some unfortunate news this morning from my team. I don't know how to feel right now. I'm sad, frustrated, pissed off. All I could really say is that it has nothing to do with me or social gloves, but the fight Austin versus Gibb may potentially have to be postponed. Out of respect for Gibb, I'm gonna let him explain his situation. He has no choice other than to make a video and explain to you guys why the fight may have to be postponed. If he doesn't do that, then I'll have no choice other than to tell you guys what happened. As of right now, the team wants me to continue on with the event. They want me to pick a new opponent. But again, out of respect for Gibb, out of respect for us training our asses off for the past few months, out of respect for the fans wanting to see this fight happen, I'm willing to postpone it, if he can explain why. That's all I can really say right now. I'm pissed off. This just doesn't quite add up, but here's Gibbs' response. Buenos dias, ladies and gentlemen. It's Big Gibber here. In 10 days, I had a scheduled fight with one Austin McBroom, July 30th in the crypto arena. I've done my training camp. I've worked hard. I'm fight ready. I'm primed to fight this individual. But unfortunately, I've been told that I have to do more medicals for this to be sanctioned as a pro fight out in LA. So in seven hours, I'm gonna fly to LA to do these said medicals. Social Gloves have informed me that the fight is not canceled, it is postponed. I'll keep you guys updated. And this is not over, son. This is not over. Okay, so is this Social Gloves that's making the demands or whoever makes the rules for the professional boxing events? But Austin followed up with this video. All right, so the July 30th date is officially postponed. Gibb has made it out to LA. He's here now. He has to go through more medical exams, unfortunately. It is unclear on what his conditions are or what he's going through at the moment. We just hope that he can get cleared for our new date, which as of right now is set for early September. If he is unable to pass his medical exams, I have no choice other than to find a new opponent. If anyone's up for the challenge, hit me up. I'm still hoping to see Gibb in the ring early September. Everyone, stand by. Now, my question is, is this a lucky break for Austin and them to now they can have a little bit more time to find the last fight and also some more time to promote this event? Because from what I can tell, they've been struggling to fill the last card. Because as the Ireland boys exposed, which don't confuse them with the Island boys, apparently there's a whole nother group by the name of the Ireland boys. Apparently they were approached by Austin McBroom's brother in law to fight against him in the Social Gloves 2 boxing match for the grand total of zero dollars. Nothing. Zilch. That's how much they want to offer them. So Austin's event is essentially scrambling to find someone who wants to hop into the ring and fight for free against Austin's brother-in-law who nobody has really heard of. So they're essentially like, hey, Ireland boys, please take a massive risk, take a break from making what is profitable for you and fight for free in this event where you have a high chance of getting serious injured. Yeah, that sounds like an awful deal, but I guess they would have the honor to fight in the most half-assed influencer boxing match to ever be documented. I mean, Supreme Patty's boxing events seem better than this, but here's the Ireland boys reading the DMs they got from the Social Gloves event. Saying this, hey Nick, are you interested in fighting on our July 30th card at Crypto Arena? And I said, possibly, what's the offer and do you have an opponent? And then they said this, not sure what the offer is yet, have to talk with the team, just wanted to see if you were interested and your opponent would be Ryan Johnston. And then I said, let me know what the team says. Talked with the team and the budget is really tight. The card is already set, but if money isn't your motivation, then we might be able to work something out. Not saying you would fight for free, but the budget is low. What's the lowest you would get in the ring for? And they come back, like uh, literally like, how long is that? A couple days later, and then they say, our budget is maxed out. That is pretty much saying your boy would be fighting for free. So it seems like this is a nightmare event for the undercards. Like, why would you bother to fight here for free? Risking to get seriously hurt for uh, zero pay doesn't sound like a good deal. But my big question here is, will this event actually happen? I guess only time will tell.